What's up everybody? We've been Sayulita for a few days now and here's our top 10 things to do. Let's check it out. Grab a board and surf Sayulita! Sayulita's main surf break is off the center of the beach. The waves are pretty consistent each day. Obviously, this wasn't the biggest wave of the day, but I was happy I could still catch a wave because it has been a while since I've surfed. Off to the left is a great spot for beginners and kids. Take a snorkel cruise with We've taken a lot of snorkel cruises and this was one of the best. The crew was great and the snorkeling adventure was a lot of fun and we had a great time playing on and off the boat. All right, everyone, we just had a great day with Alley Cat Tours on the Fat Cat Catamaran yeah. Tours to the Marietta Islands. So we definitely recommend it. It was so much fun. Rent a golf cart. Good morning, travel family. So today we got our golf cart and we are going to go shopping, explore around. Sayulita is pretty awesome because you can walk everywhere, but it's pretty fun if you want to rent a golf cart and just get around town a little quicker. And you can also let your teenager drive you around. <laughs> yeah, you can drive in Mexico, you can drive anywhere. Yeah. Parker's doing a great job, by the way. Yeah, and I got my driver's license at Chuck E. Cheese. Don't worry. <laughs> they took my picture and everything. Get your shop on at all the local boutiques. <laughs> the local boho shopping is absolutely adorable. Check out the iguana tree. So many iguanas. Check out the street food scene, street tacos. Okay, uh, All right, a must do in Sayulita is checking out the street food scene around the plaza. We just took a walk around the entire plaza and we hit three different street taco stands and then we're finishing up with the churro stand. And we basically ate dinner for less than 20 bucks and it was a lot of fun. We got to watch them make the food right on the street and try different tacos and quesadillas. And it was a really good time, and now we're gonna hang out here on the plaza. Hang out at the plaza and watch the street performer. Playa de los Muertos, check it out. All right, we are headed to Playa de los Muertos, a small beach on the west side of town. It's about a half a mile out of town, and it's a small cove. It's a little bumpy. That is supposed to be kind of a smaller, quieter beach than the main beach in Sayulita. And we'll let you know how the beach is when we get there. All right, we made it to uh, Playa de los Muertos, and there's a little beach shack, a little snack shack on the beach, and they call it Playa de los Muertos because the parking lot is part or right next to a cemetery. Uh, we didn't want to film anything over there in respect for the dead, but Playa de los Muertos means beach of the dead, and we're walking into it right now. Yeah, awesome. 
All right, we've got to go find a spot to sit and get ourselves some shade and a cool drink. See ya. Yeah, it's definitely a little more laid back in the main beach in Sayulita, so it's kind of just a cool beach off the beach path. There's some uh, rocks on either end of the beach to kind of explore and a couple little coves. We rented chairs as well, so there's that convenience here. There's 300 pesos, so about 15 bucks for the day with the umbrella and table. The kids in the water having fun. There's a kind of a cool shore break. The waves are uh, coming in today a little bit, so they're having fun playing in the surf, and we're just kicking back, relaxing. It is hot, but the water's nice and refreshing to uh, cool off in. Grab your morning coffee and hike North Beach. We hope you enjoy the town as much as we did. Yeah. So oh. And don't forget to take a selfie on Flag Street. We want you to escape the bubble. Like and subscribe. Hey. Wait till that goes by. <laughs> and that's a wrap.